Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. Last episode, we sold off some of our puppies, but don't worry. Sienna just gave birth to two more, Witch and Brit. So, we will always have puppies in this game. <laughs> Animals? Um, scroll up in here, the two newest... Man, there's so many dogs, they, they, they fill up the entire screen. So, we're down in here, and you guys need to drop into... Oh, we just had a puff recently, too. You need to drop into the the uh, kibble area. Puff. Oh, is there three in there? No, that's... Where's Puff? Puff's on top. Oh, we have three puppies. Sienna. Wow. <laughs> well, there's three more right there. Okay, so before we get rolling too much here... Eric just finished an important, or at least got to work on an important job. What you doing? You're building a roof. You want, no, 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 no. Anyway, um, Daniel and Kaya both were looking at this when I was talking about it last time and saw something that I didn't notice. There's sunlight here, which means there is brightly lit. Well, lit, okay. We're not bright anymore because it is uh, 1,700 hours. But... We've got no roof right here. We've got no overhead mountain until we hit right about here. Um, overhead mountain right there. And then we get into lit. So from this point on, it's open. So we have basically the best of both worlds here. We can block this whole area off with, with stone wall and put a cooler right here and have a dump off into the outside. So it just that's the perfect solution. What I found with this game is don't quickly... Now don't react too quickly to something and end up overreacting. Just wait it out for a little bit. The solution tends to come to you once you've got time to, you know, to, to mull it over and figure things out. But Eric, you're going to run all the way out there to fill in that that overhead roof, and you're going to run all the way back in here to do this. How about just, um, um, you know, do that for me. And then once you tear this one down, tear that one down, and tear that one down. And then if you still have some, yep, you get plenty. Come out there and build that. Then you can do whatever you want afterwards. But that will give us some much needed component. No, no, not components. These are just granite doors. There's just blocks in there. Okay. I did tear down the almost completed machining table to get the components back out. Because we're, we're flat out of components. So that Andy can get these two doors built for us. Got Kaya over here to build this door. Tore that one down. Stole its components. We're going to get these doors built in the uh, in the gauntlet so we've got the flexibility of guarding this path right here diving down in popping up either way and just just more flexibility for us that the enemy can't travel through you are bringing silver 260 silver ah we saw these traders over here and there's still 107 silver left otherwise we got some of our animals and they're going to be taken off here soon uh, pickles. Let's go look over here. So we've got our three new um, prisoners from our our, <laughs> our foolhardy uh, um, kidnapping of their uh, of their visitors coming through, giving us a a uh, brand new enemy. Where am I at? Right here. Hostile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get ready for the impending raid which the accord of minio if it comes soon enough might end up fighting for us i don't know no actually not the accord of minio let's see factions you are right there and your enemies are only the saws and the saber donkeys okay so you're allies with the others so all three of these like each other and we used to be part of that group hug but not anymore. We've had good wind all afternoon. This is, by the way, just the uh, the evening after that attack over here yesterday or th this morning. So I ran the game for a while, long enough to get guns back on everybody, get everybody in the hospital beds and healed. We've got Grandma and Bill over here getting their bruises tended to, and they're going to be fine. And all day long, we've had full wind on our wind turbines, which is a good thing to see, because I'm trying to keep from having to reload these till I absolutely have to. Let's try and conserve some of those resources. Bill is fully healed. Where am I? Right down here. Healed and doing what? Playing horseshoes. Can you, like, clean the hospital for me before you do? Because it's it's pretty gnarly in there. I asked uh, Shantigo to clean this area. 
after he restocked his stove, which he did, and he cleaned, and he's gone. Shanti, where are you at? You are making kibble. Why? Because Michael walked in and says, hey, thanks for the stove. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Okay. Otherwise, most of them are set to work on growing. Um, anything else go on through the night? Through the day. I'm used to working at night, but didn't work that way this time. Um, I don't think so. This area over here was critical. And actually, Eric, you're probably not going to be able to finish that before you're running out of time. Uh, Caravan is leaving. Good. Pop up over there. Off they go. Reindeer is their leader. And there goes all the puppies. Yep. And Grandma is fully healed. And she is heading off to go butcher. Good. So little by little, that's getting all clean out. Look how it's, it's around the perimeter. I think it has to do with where the closest spot from where they were when they did the hunting, or when they started the hauling. You know, landed in like so, though I don't understand these guys. But, hmm. What was that noise? I did have several of them haul nothing but rice all afternoon. To make sure we can get this thing stocked up. Last thing I need is a starving boomalope. But we're going to get a lot of sewing in. Sorry to get it all in there, although they're concentrating mostly on the greenhouse at the moment, but I'm going to get a good head start. It's not going to grow very fast. Hey, grass growth rate of 6%. Uh, no, it's 6% grown is nighttime, so it's only 4% or zero growth rate at the moment. What am I seeing over here now? Grandma is breaking because needs. She is just not having a good day, huh? Let's stop what you're doing, clean this area, see if that helps anything beauty is slowly increasing look at that so keep cleaning and need to get this stuff hauled all this counts as a negative 15 right oh negative four and it's because of the dirt underneath there's a 19 so just negative four is for for these and you are oh well that thing's frustrating you are now butchering no let's let's keep the cleaning going grandma right Boy, it's like none of that counts anymore. There we go. You continue cleaning. And let's see if we can get that to go back up. Just out of curiosity. Need to get that. You just want to make kibble so bad. What can I get you to do that'll make you happy? Now, Grandma, you do art, don't you? Um, where do I want it? Right? Character. Yeah. You have got actually quite a bit of skill for art. In fact, for that matter, which one of these is something you've already started. There's a Cathra, there's a Grandma, and there's a Cathra. Um, Grandma, if I were to have you, everything looks clean in here. I need to get this smoothed out. I could really do. This is kind of our therapy room over here. <laughs> Grandma, why don't you come over here and not smooth. Work on that one. See what that does for you. We'll get, in fact, we need to get somebody else to haul this kibble, clear this area. We have all this kibble made, and we're not getting any credit for it. So, they're having a hard time getting the kibble out there. You are set for the highest priority, right? Critical. Okay, so there's nothing at this end that's a problem. It just seems to stack over here. But I don't want them hauling it because they got to cross, the, you know, go around the whole river to go dump it off each time. So, I really want them to uh, just continue making it, just freezer and back and forth. So, who else can I get to do some hauling before we're, we're at 20 hours, 20 hundred hours? So I don't want much more time to go by. Um, Faith enjoys sewing. Is she over here? I thought when I clicked, we landed there. She's over here. And she's sewing in this area and in the rich soil. I'm going to leave her alone to do that. Kaya, um, playing horseshoes. Out over here, needs. You're doing okay. All right. Let's get you to haul some kibble. Who else? Catherine's been hauling all day. Feeding fine meal to pickles. Now she's she's doing okay though. Now she's doing her wardening thing. Klaus, where are you? You are over here already. You're kind of what are you doing? You're feeding meal to Kit. Then you can feed a meal to pickles when you're done. And Kathra, you're free. So you can now do me a favor and haul in another load of kibble. There we go. That should take care of things. So with that, hmm, incoming raid 
don't know how long. Ah, oh, that needs to get done. Before, David, won't you... Yeah, pop over here. Before the Irithatna People's Republic, or whatever they were called, makes a trip in to to uh, thank us for taking their 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 uh, their buddies there. Um, let's have Klaus. Is he? Does that get done? Needs? Wow, that was like really quick. Okay, you're going to talk to Klompster, then you're going to... You no, know, I can't make you talk to them. Other people will, just on their own, but when I click on it, it just says strip. Interesting. Well, maybe Klaus will just automatically drop into each one of them. Okay, so David, you're going to take care of what we need. What I wanted you to do first thing this morning, that was to get this built before we get too deep into this. Um, otherwise, just walk through. Thomas Slav, most everybody is set to... Uh, I'm seeing a handy. Most everybody is set to grow. Handy, sewing area. Let's get you back into here before bedtime and then work on that. And just kind of keep an eye on that. Problem is, while she's working, one of the dogs will walk right through. That isn't... Eric, what you doing? You are building a roof over here. Okay. Then... Cargo pods. Um, you are building a granite door that'd be nice but how about i get you to work on handy standing in it handy go here handy work on that one good eric work on that one whoa cargo pods the earth just shook cargo pods where are you you're out over here not too far away What'd you bring us? Oh, man. <laughs> Camel hair. Lots of it. Okay. Always wanted camel hair. Hmm. Is that stuff soft or scratchy? I would think it's kind of stiff and scratchy. What would that be like for a, I don't know, camel hair underwear. I just don't see as being very comfortable. <laughs> I think that's not going to break down too quickly. We'll let the, the pigs go up and, and clean that out. Um, hello. We never got back to you, did we? You're down. Unconscious. We need someone to just go finish you off. Yeah. I'm thinking Miss P kind of did her pew 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 thing and then we got distracted and kind of forgot about the poor mega sloth up here. Who's a nighttime hunter? I know Natalia always wanted to be, but she's sleeping now. Miss P is in the middle somewhere. You are making kibble. And you're not the best hunter, but that's kind of the point. I want you to get lots of shooting practice in. You're in good shape over here. How far into kibble are you? You're just kind of getting there. And let's get you instead this to pop up here and see if you can finish the job this time. Why don't you go hunt him? Now, where was I? I was handy. I want to make sure this actually gets done. Let's babysit this. David is going to walk over and do that, so we got three things to watch over here. Someone's going to get finished first, walk through the other one's building site. Ah, oh, good, you got that one done first. Alicia, you are resting, and you came up from over here. Why? What can I get you to do on your way in? Then we'll go back to that building site. Um, Alicia, you are down in here now. No cleaning is needed. Nothing to haul. Well, no, that one's busy. Nothing in there. You could clean Catherine's room for her in case she gets in really late. And that's about it. Though you could... Actually, why don't you do that one first and then do the hospital and then do that one and then call it a night. All right. So back over to Handy right there. So Klaus, you are theoretically talking to... No, you've gone to bed. Sangria is going to bed. Um... How's this area looking? Right there. Let's have you do this on your way in. And who did I see leave here? Eric left. Because he got done. Good. You're resting. Um, last minute things. Do you need the rest? Not really. What's the chance I can get you to... Try that again. There. Get you to build that for me. David, you are consuming a package survival meal. Because you don't have food on you, and you didn't grab a meal before you left, and... Mmm, I don't want you guys eating all those. Alright, make the trip over, and make this happen. 
right there. Consume that one. Thank you. I did, or Eric did, ah, there we go. Come on, grab this one. Eric did finish off all of this. So that's all nice and, and insulated now. This area is back to 55 degrees and I assume warming up. And we're 55 in there. Drop into here, 57, 61. So yeah, we were kind of chilling the base over here. What's it in the prison right now? 47, it's cold over here. But I know one thing I wanted to talk about last time and I didn't, or the time before we are talking about uh, the temperatures out in here. And in fact, where are we right now? We're 71 because all these inner doors are opened up. So this is never getting a chance to really heat up this room too much because it leaks out into these, but it doesn't, it doesn't travel through the doorway very well. In our Alpha 13 series, we could have a door at the end of a, of a heat chase and open it up and the heat would transfer easily. But now there's actually quite a bit of difference. There's 115 degrees in here from these one, two, three coolers that are heating right now. When I, middle of summer, when we really needed to cool this thing, we have all one, two, three, four, five of these going. That's going to be unbearably hot. So but right now, 115 degrees going through this doorway pretend there's a wall there there, sh there should be but we don't have the component to swap this out yet actually that's just a that's a granite door that's a granite door okay so it's not an auto door right so we could we could build that at any time but 115 drops into here 85 so what is that 15 that's 30 degrees difference i'm losing there's a 30 degree resistance from this heat to get into this room and out of our 85, there's no heat in this hallway. Um, we're down to 68. So 64 in here. So it's not like any of the heaters from the rest of the place is contributing to it. So 85 down to 68 in here. So there's a lot of resistance through the door and through the vents. So if I really wanted to, if I really want to get this heat out of here in the summertime, I think I'm going to have to just break this door down and just make an opening. Or I could, let's see, click out into somewhere it's not going to, ah, uh, where is a space? There? There we go. So I can get this back. Um, right here. Thin rock roof. I could tear that roof out of a couple of places and then rebuild them and leave the doors in. Either way, I'm going to have to have outdoor, uh, an outdoor rating to this room to get this heat out of here this summer. But the idea was to find some way to get the heat back into the base and get it you know, cycling through, but there's a lot of resistance to the way I used to do it. So anyway, maybe, you know, it'd be great if we could develop something like duct work and run a duct through and dump it into right here. Let that, or right here, just let it dump into the bedrooms or something. But in Rim World Vanilla, that's not a thing. Anyway, what's happened over here? We walked through, no, we did, we did good, okay. Andy, you think you're doing the same thing? You're not, but you really need to go to bed. So why don't you run over here and grab a real meal. And right over there, consume that one. And you're good for the night. Okay. Tomislav, you're off to bed. Why don't you go ahead and do this one for Alicia since it's your room and, and you're here. Okay, that's done. And then Handy. Hmm... Nah, you need to just go to bed. You still got to get a meal, so you're going to be a while. So, Rabbit, you are going to bed yourself. Then why don't you do me the favor and clean up that one? And when you're done with that, grab this one. Grandma bled all over the place trying to get into here. Cathro, you're going to bed, so why don't you clean up your own room and leave Alicia to just deal with the uh, what's in there. And I think that kind of does it here. Faith is heading to bed. She is. She's down in this area. And this area is actually looking pretty good. So if I can get them to do the cleaning like this, I don't have to worry so much about uh, setting somebody to, to clean 24-7. Manuela, you're consuming a fine meal. You're just getting up. <clears throat> you're just getting up. So when you're done, how about I get you to clean in this area? That would be good. Now, how are we doing in here? We still have two sickies and two up and running and contemplating their next uh, plan of escape. So, long-term plans. David is actually up for the night. So he's consuming a fine meal. I see. Um, 
Let's hit him back into here afterward and get this wall done. We won't have to worry about this ever again. Eric, you are getting that done. Then you need to go to bed soon. Needs, you're good for... Yeah, your forecast is crashing. Then just fill in the blank. And... Yeah. And go ahead and go to bed. Resting. And your needs... Go grab a meal first. So that you don't go into negatives while you're sleeping. So when you're done... Somebody was heading for that one. Where did Handy go? Did she not get here yet? Um, so Eric, but Handy... You did eat. Who didn't eat that one? Was it Klaus that I assigned to that? I thought I assigned somebody to that. Eric, why don't you grab onto that one. Go eat that one before you go to bed. So with that, lots of meat is already butchered. Good. Um, what I was trying to get to was we really could use, as our next priority, maybe five cells. And the top half of the prisoner uh, experimentation ward and maybe the top half of the uh, processing center. I think that would be a good place to concentrate next. Then we can get these guys moved into here before the next prison break, which is in an unknown amount of time, during trying to sew as much as we possibly can. So Bill's out here sewing in the night. Needs got his negative three in darkness. Manuela is two. Nope, doesn't have it yet. But it's not um, not going to be a normal thing for them. They basically just uh, their schedules are all messed up because of of uh, not being able to sleep during the day or whatever it was. The the last raid, the last attack. So David attempting to recruit pickles. Cancelled all of my all of my requests to get up here. Yeah, okay, I give up. When you're done with there, then <clears throat> let's. Now, this is all wooden stuff. Wood nearby is out in here. This stuff's been out here for quite a while. It's not breaking down, though, so it's it's more recent. Okay, not too bad. Uh, down in here, a little bit longer. 148, 149 out of 50. Not too bad. Okay. Then in that case, David, why don't you, since you're not too far away from materials, pop in solar flare pop into there next and we'll see what you do with that solar flare means an intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices it should pass in about a day mm. so we don't have to worry about electric doors holding back prisoners with something like that that's thankful working in a in a real prison power outage means your backup generators better go on <laughs> well they are key backup on those doors too big old monster skeleton keys what I remember but so it's not so scary prisoner wise for a, a power outage but we're basically out of power um, which interesting we still have power being generated here from this wind are we still saving power or does it just shut down all usage whatsoever all movement of electricity that's my take yeah Connected is dropping quickly. Are we still slowly shutting things down? Connected rate. Sun is four in the morning, starting to come up, and we're starting to build up our capacity. 101 stored, 1001 right there. Ah, okay. So we're going to have a problem with that. Whoa, whoa. Item stash opportunity. We need to get you turned off and you turned on. So when we come up, say in the middle of the night, we're still going to have a full load of power. Actually, leave you on so you can get stored again. But we need to have some backup ready to go. Um, whoa, what have we got here? Huntsman, chief of the Cordominio, which still likes us, one of the the two, has informed us of a coal of a collection. Uh, valuable items not far from us. The collection consists of a machine pistol. Nope. Revolver. Interesting. Machine pistol. Nope. Pump shotgun. Nope. Pump shotgun. Nope. Triple rocket launcher. Mm, no. Won't last. You've got 22 days. Beware. Valuables tend to attract danger. Unfortunately, the huntsman has no idea who or what, if anything, might be guarding this stash. Jump to. Eh, let's go take a peek at that. 
see where it is just just to see how that would have gone but I don't see any point in in risking our people to go off and get something that's not that important to us splitting us up when a potential retaliation is on its way so even further than the last trip was which, which was to Katakskaba so that would mean we are going from here to here 3.3 days back to here at a new waypoint 7.1 days to get there and back plus um what are they called not attacks but um yeah starts with a b i can't come up with a word we're ambushed it doesn't start with a b but there's a b in it ambushes along the way and back and everything else yeah we're gonna say no thank you but otherwise we're just gonna deal with with what gonna deal with meals starting to warm up we are pretty well uh, airlocked so it's not too big of a deal indoors though we're already 47 degrees interesting and holding 48 like this never was fully refrigerated huh you <clears throat> minor rick risk in the dark 34 oh 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 refrigerator is 40 okay that would have been fine yeah let's take you down another let's take you down right to the freezing point that's fine same with you it, it's hardly gonna it's still gonna be basically refrigerated it's gonna be probably floating warmer than what it's set for because of all the doors in and out who was about to break grandma is still about to break now she's in the dark needs mm. oh go get a meal then you'll be fine can you go to bed soon um you are nighttime you won't be so once you've done that and you've eaten in the dark then once you go back to this and get your joy up a little bit higher Otherwise, what's happening? We're coming up on morning. Tomislav is already up, consuming a fine meal. And Shantigo is butchering. I thought I saw something happen over there, but it didn't. Hunter lacks a weapon. Who is that? Grandma lacks a weapon because you were in the hospital bed and I couldn't get a revolver onto you. Where would we still have a revolver? There's still one bookcase down here that is accidentally loaded with... Nope, that's all taken care of now. Um, over here, we never got any melee weapons. Over here, we've got a mm, plasteel mace. Isn't that Bill's? Right there. Yep, that's Bill's. So Bill is resting. He's on his way to rest. So grab that right now. And Grandma, need a revolver on you. No. Okay, up in this area. Uh, right in there. You get just an auto pistol on you it shoots a little faster it just doesn't have the range but oh there's an, well, an awful revolver a good let's get the good auto pistol on you and then let's go back to making a sculpture right there okay that takes care of that problem there just grandma right well we don't know that's the only one it went to so I guess we'll find out soon if that disappears otherwise rabbit you are grabbing a fine meal that beep was Bugsy is pregnant. More puppies are coming. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Didn't go. Oh, you haven't got there yet. Because you got to jump all around and, and dodge this and that, and we're good. A wild boar is given birth. Yep, it has begun to rebuild. Uh, Kibble did make it in here. Uh, where's here? Up. There's here. We're still kibbleless. Mmm. Okay. Mm, I. I know what I need to do about that. Yeah, I wish I thought of that before. But let's get the new piglets, everybody into the kibble zone that should be. Um, well, boars, you guys in here. Otherwise, everybody that can haul has been. Let's go ahead and, and do that for you two. Over here, puppies, let's do that. Get them started. And you are now a hauling dog. You are a hauling dog. You are a hauling dog. Okay, I'm behind over here. All of you guys are hauling dogs. Good. We could definitely use that. Any sangrias on the list here? No. So that's all taken care of. Um, how did I not think of just getting the kibble 
animals access to right there. It's going to leave it really dirty, but it's it's dirty anyway. So yeah, let's just make that happen for now till we till we get ahead of this curve, which it's taken forever to do. What we need is a herd of muffalo to come in. Then we're not butchering 10,000 squirrels to get the amount of meat that one muffalo is going to give us. So let's expand dog kibble area to here like that. And probably best to take them oh, on a pathway, something like so. And I don't know if I truly need to, to do all of this. I have a feeling if I just say you go here and go here, they'll make a, their own pathway between. But in case I'm entirely wrong, I want to... Pff, let's just <laughs> do that. Okay, you guys have access now. Um, not to the, the bench, though. Just in case they're able to just pull the meat right off of there. No, we're not going to go there. But that should suddenly open up a whole bunch of them to rushing over to get food. Look at that. Everybody who is hungry... Yeah, mm hmm Otherwise, Oz is going to haul some of it back over. And he wants that pathway there. Look at the, the granite coming in. So what's happening up in here? We still need to get going on this. David, you are recruit failing. Okay, you made a poor bed. Yeah. Handy, <laughs> I need you. Rest, why don't you come over and get to work on bed for me. And David, you can recruit all you like. Yeah, okay. So this one needs to be uninstalled. And Klaus, what you doing? Okay, sure. Why don't you first uninstall this, and then you can work on that. And after that, you can work on that. And let's get a bunch of wood brought over here and get started in this area. So pop that out, and let's make a new blueprint for right here. And Klaus, you're gonna go and do we have we don't have wood in here. That's too bad. So you gotta run over there and get it. And who's that? David, you're working on other projects that are all ready to go. Which means can you work on that? Give them power into here? That would be nice. Although power doesn't really matter. We've got a solar flare going. That's right. Otherwise, so that means no cooking. Oh, 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 that's right. We're loaded and ready over here. So let's fire this up for um, fine meals. I think that would be the route to go. Fine meals, let's turn you to low. You to low. Oh, that was on low the whole time? I guess we weren't really using both of them. That's right. You're going to go to critical. You're going to go to critical. You... Stove two veggies going to low and stove one veggies. You are going to low. All right, that gets somebody up and running. Who is that someone? Shantigo, you are butchering right now. Okay. Michael, you are making kibble right now. Um, Miss P, you are consuming a fine meal. When you're done, you're going to restock consume. Okay, let's give this a while to run. Soon, it's going to say that I can haul this to that critical pile over there. Oh, Rimworld, you drive me insane. Are you doing it right now? No, you're going to that one. Which isn't critical anymore. Okay. Then, pop that in there. But you are, you do have that one. Okay. Well, Shantigo, no, you don't. You just went to there. Shantigo, can you haul this now? You're not a Shantigo. Yes, you can do it now. All right, so you're going to do that, and then you're going to do that. Um, actually, it would be better if you did... Yeah, let's... I'm going to sit here for a little bit. We have to get rid of this meal. Actually, let's clear all of that. And pause. Now you're going to do that, and you're going to do this, which should haul both of these down there. And that should take care of all that. Oh, but I did that wrong again. Cancel. I always, I just automatically hit that uh, that shift button. Just not that one. Just have it now. Did I do it again? Clear all. You are going here. Oh, he's got to get through the doorway to re to change his line. That's right. 
game has certain orders that it has to follow to do anything. So you're going to get this all loaded up and start using it. Good. That's done. Maggie, you brought that in from where? Where are we making... We're not making herbals up here. Interesting. Oh, you came out of here. Okay, that makes more sense. So yeah, this area is completely filthy now. Michael doesn't clean. But you guys all ate. We're not going to lose any animals. Um, who can clean? Mr. P, I hate to keep picking on you. Oh, you're cloud watching. So when you're done, you're going to clean that, you're going to clean that, and you're going to clean that. Let's get this whole area put together. Then, do I stop the animals from getting over here and kind of force it back over to here? I think we're not going to worry about that for now. We're just going to clean up the mess once in a while. Otherwise, all the auto doors are back to just regular doors. That's what happens during a power outage. And you kind of get a good sense of our main pathways that I chose for us. A way to shoot straight through. way to come through this mess and get out. way for us in a battle to get back through really quick. And then a way to shoot straight up. So that was the plan there. Um, Temperature-wise outside, we're at 45 degrees. Not good for growing, but it's not harming anything. Okay. So Miss P is cloud watching. We're at 11 o'clock. Do you really need it? Well, I can't turn it off now anyway without avoiding all my old orders. Solar flare is ending. Great. <laughs> well, okay. Let's set you back to critical. And set you, uh, actually you, back to critical. Right there. And we'll just leave the... Our orders up and running. Yeah, we've got two stoves that are fully functional now, and we'll just go with that. All right. Well, I'll pull. I'll shut this one down later after we've caught up on our on our fine meals again. Otherwise, we came on at noon. We're charging. Let's go ahead and turn this back off. So we have a whole day to get one bank completely refilled. May as well go that route. So where are we at? Mike, let's start this in. Manuela, what you doing? Well, I always start the other end. I never get through the list. Manuela's grabbing a fine meal. Remind me, Manuela's uh, priority is growing, right? Character growing, yeah. So you're going to go off and do something out there that's important. That's good faith. You're harvesting. Okay, you're on grow right now as well. Kaya is making clothes for the rest of her life. Yep. And it's, it's so needed. So, actually, it's your needs are fine there. Let's go over here. How are we doing? You're on dusters. So, we're ahead on toques. Was there anything over here we need to strip off these guys now that I think about it? And let's... We didn't actually stop and talk about these guys. Let's pause a second before anything pops in on us so I can do that. Because I want to get Eric aimed and, and uh, make sure that Handy's doing her things over here. What did we get out of this, by the way? An excellent and a poor... That was Handy's, too. Handy, what's with you? Needs. You're in good shape. We'll take over this one, and we'll... We're kind of running out of storage, aren't we? Let's just go ahead and deconstruct this one. And we'll fill that back in. Anyway, prison. Prisoners. Pickles. Character. Good at shooting. Now, Oath Knight had requested a character that would shoot. He's got this dream of, of having his minigun and mowing down uh, herds with it and enemies. But he had requested, I think it was cooking and intellect and... What was the other one? Art? There were three things and none of them qualify. So we'll have to wait for another character to show up for Oath Knight. Um, Radar had requested a, an ascetic trait. So we're going to have to wait on that one. So the list, when these guys pop, I'll have to read off a different list to uh, see who would like these characters. But Pickles, I'm pretty sure, is a keeper. He is an optimistic psychopath, which is going to be interesting, but has some good characteristics over here to work with. So no real negatives over here. What is the psychopath? Um, there's no empathy, so he doesn't get harmed by... The... Actually, psychopath in this game is almost treated as a... Uh, um, as a positive. In other words, the things that can normally take down some of these characters from all the negatives, they're immune to. So Psychopath is not necessarily a bad thing in this game. Um, doesn't mind seeing suffering, which everybody else minds. You sell a slave, they're all depressed for weeks, 
and this one's not. So psychopath in this game is actually a positive the way that it's that it that it's, it's uh, treated here. Otherwise, so pickles is a keeper. And Prisoner is a 55% difficulty, which is why I wanted the the Outlander Union, basically the town, versus tribes. These are usually in the upper 80s to upper 90% uh, recruitment difficulties. So the townspeople are much easier. So Pickles, 55%. We're probably going to pop in here real soon. Health, you got treated well and good medicine and nothing here is, is serious so you're going to heal up pretty good kit i was thinking about returning go ahead and letting her loose i don't have any more female characters that have requested in and the what was it about her that um that was a concern character i think this void right here the lack of flexibility to do a lot of different things so just be set into to one task really and just left there and you know we don't medicine that often animals there's there's something there but i've got no one really to fill the fill in the name for so i think we're going to go ahead and set to 50 percent difficulty would be easy we're going to set to release the idea being now that they are our enemies we're going to get lots more uh, kits and pickles to choose from soon of course it's going to be after a real battle so they're going to come in with missing body parts but there, there's going to be more of them available whereas clomster over here is 80 percent clomster was a saber donkey he was a pirate so a little bit more difficulty um grill is an 67 percent and set for chat and recruit um health has a blocked or artery blockage only a 15 percent blockage which takes away 5% of efficiency. So a little tiny bit is off of all of these these characteristics here because of a of a blocked artery, but it's not treating it as a major thing. Whether or not that becomes major and then there's a heart attack before the series is over, I don't know. And if we get there in time, we can treat the heart attack if we have enough medicine nearby and just make that happen. So... Um, Otherwise, I'd say characters is pretty well-rounded here. Uh, lazy and trigger-happy we can work with pretty easily, but can work with the animals as well as Kit. Not as good, but is, is definitely interested. And can medicine the same way as Kit, just not as good. And otherwise, art, um, crafting, can construct. Yeah, I wish there was more shooting in, in there. Wish, you know, more, we had more characters that were able to, to man the wall over there. But um, otherwise, I'd say, you know, this will, will fit in well. So kind of glance through if you're a guy on the list waiting to get into the game. Any of these interest you. Um, my next ones, if I recall, were going to be Radar and Oath, because I never got word back from the five that I read off last time. Oh, I had the page and I lost it. Otherwise, uh, we've got Otis, Bliss, Doc, Oldman, and Arcane coming up. So if any of you guys are watching and leave me a note that you're still out there and if any of these characters really catch your attention as far as their uh, their characteristics. Otherwise, um, Oath and Radar, let me know if you want to jump into either of these two. As far as I know, we're going to get them. You know, Hopefully it doesn't turn into a, a Pickles thing. Or not Pickles, but a Purple thing that went over 20-some episodes. I don't think that's going to happen here. But boy, Purple was stubborn. <laughs> but with that, we're at 45 minutes or so. Anything else that needs any loose ends need to be tied up here. Klaus, you look like you're ah, you're releasing Kit. Okay, um, Handy, I want to get you locked into a job or two here. You are hauling wood to dining chair. You rerouted yourself? Or are you talking, you know, dining chair right here, chair and table? Okay, you're kind of working that route. Um. While you're going off to get wood, how about instead you go off to get wood for that bed right there? We'll go that route. And just get some beds going, and we'll work on all the other little things like uh, table and chairs later. Rabbit, you're sewing an area. Shantigo, you are back to your old stove and happy as can be, though I'd love to get you to... Ooh, you reserved by Michael. All right, well, let's go for this one. Haul that one in when you're done. And then haul... Can't... 
you got a space there, but I can't get you to bring potatoes. Can I get you to bring corn? No. Uh, no space. So I take it that Sienna is already, or somebody's already got that space grabbed. Okay. So Shantigo, Klaus, you are, are getting rid of Kit. Sangria, you are training. Kathra, you are sewing area. <clears throat> you got a green thumb and, and you enjoy this. I just wish we'd get a little more, a little deeper into here and get this thing filled. And then out into here and get this thing filled. And then out into here and get all of these replanted. Ah, oh, there's so much to do. Are you bringing in wood? You are bringing in wood. Oh, good. So where were we? Catherine, Natalia, sound asleep for the day. Michael is cooking a fine meal. Great. So actually, Michael, let's get you to draft and then do that and get you to... Oh, you don't haul. Yeah, that didn't work. Shantigo. Hmm. Okay. He's just, he was just going to grab five and walk down there. I was trying to get him to bring the whole pile, but he won't. Um, Alicia? No, Miss B. We were there. You were sound asleep. Alicia, you're down over here exploring. That's right. I asked you to hit up in here and get us some components. How did that go? It went, and I just wasn't there to have you haul it in. But we've got six components now, and hopefully... Things will calm down here for a little bit, and Natalia will be able to get back in here and get some more components made. So, Alicia, let's get you back into, um, right there, back into growing. And specifically, let's see, Alicia needs, you're good for a while. Let's do what with you. You'll probably just go and plant some indoor planting pots. Let's instead get you to, hmm... Through this door over here, I think it'd be really important. Wow, why can't I do that? Let's let it run for a while. There. Alicia. Work. Grow. What's going on? I should be able to right click out here. Clean blood. Why can I not get you to go and grow in that area? That is really strange. Um this area here are you still no you're on temperature 52 that's weird okay Eric you taking a fine meal good plan and then let's get you over to work on this bed over here where is it that's a bit oh this door is reversed no well it's reversed inside so you're going to work on Handy's working on that one now let's get you to work on this bed over here next and no as in where are you at right now oh grabbing the meal then you were going to go do that okay so let's get you to go here directly like that okay you're going to find some wood which is down in here because somebody brought in 15 only mm, okay well we'll just have to work that way david you're asleep grandma you are arting needs are finally back up there let's break that so you can go to bed because you're... Nope, you didn't get... You are not a night owl, are you? You're just working through the night. Okay. So, otherwise, Bill, you are consuming a fine meal. You just woke up. You just woke up. You need a meal, and you're going to go find something to do. Probably planting. Uh, sea Star is asleep. Kaya, you are making your duster. Faith is planting pots like I figured that uh, Alicia would do if I didn't assign her to something. But I can't assign her. Let's try one more time on that one. That was really strange. I want you out here. And I cannot right click into here. I cannot right, right click into there. Um, that is so weird. Because so I come out here in between episodes and I, I just set up these areas where I want you to go through and. Yep. Yeah, and, you know, just do these rows all through here and get this section done. And then I know it's finished. But it's not happening. Okay. Manuela, you're the last one, I think. Yeah, and you're also planting all the pots in here. Okay. Well, with that, we're going to have to call this one done. We're at about 50 minutes. No attack. Hopefully it does hold off for a little bit longer. We can get the jail rebuilt. That's the first real priority, I think. Get these guys moved into it. In fact, dare I? No, I'm not going to set them for jail yet till till I get more of it done. Otherwise, we're going to be splitting them up and we're going to yeah have a logistical nightmare here let's take it done though okay one last thing before 
we're finished here. That's the uh, the loose end that didn't get completed. So temperature cooler, you can drop in right there. You can cool the the jail. You can vent your heat to the outside, and nobody can come in and bust into you, unless they drop pod right into that little space right there. <laughs> um, busting in this way, they'd have to go in two of them. You can't go diagonal. So we're two there, we're two there, we're three. Yeah, we're about as strong as we're going to get. So we do not want a roof in there. Mm, let's make sure that remains. That will get forgotten. Um, architect zone, remove roof. It already is there. Why did I do that? I don't know. But let's build roof there and ignore those. They should already be done. And, right? Constructed roof, yeah. And I guess we'll call that done for now. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.